You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. I know we got important information, but I'm curious. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources <laughs> they're like, like food or fuel. Bro, we got way or more important shit. Or some type of useful technology. Or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Veil. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. <laughs> Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. He get. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. But didn't she say they created the Geth? So why would the Geth, are they that old of a species? Yeah, right, when we looked freaked out by that message. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. This is a lot to handle. They might just ignore everything we tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The captain's right. We need to present this to the council right away. What yes, sir. The Quarian. My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. <laughs> my guy's just like and spend, I spends an evening on the, the in the Citadel and Take winds up with a ragtag crew of aliens. Let's go. Now who do I pick? But could you spare a moment of your time? Man, am I might. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Patia. 
Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosca. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral. Naturally. The respect she deserves. Naturally. You. You're the guy. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Fucking right, activities I activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Batya is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Batya. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Batia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Batia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You're studying her injuries to learn more about Geth weaponry. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. Um... Yeah, like, why wouldn't you just, like, tell the guy? Like, why wouldn't you tell him? Because, like, I don't know. Yeah, it's fucked up. But, like, I feel like if you just tell the guy and give him a chance to fucking think about it, maybe he'd be okay with them using her body to, like, save millions of more lives. Like, why you gotta, like, keep it a secret from her husband? All this guy thinks is, like, oh, like, they're fucking, these fuckheads won't give me my wife's body back. Like, I just want to bury her and grieve and move on. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander, you of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. Soldiers shouldn't have to worry about what their own government is going to do to their bodies. All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Batia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Now somebody's going to fucking die later because we didn't get that. Back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. I feel like... Now somebody's gonna end up. Somebody important is gonna die later because we didn't have like the armored defenses for uh, <laughs> that. We didn't have armored defense against the Geth weaponry because I let them release the body. But I doubt there is any item that is that big of a deal to miss. Hello again, that's like, Commander. That's relieving. Has there been any word? I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness. But it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Happy to help. Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> You've got this files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. Skrilla. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. More money now, for being good. Me, I should go see what's on these discs. More money. I'd bring her back in a second, but she... sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? What were you discussing with the Volus? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left to. Ugh, sorry, I don't want to bore you with my problems. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My Future music Jenna is sweet. Left here to go work at Cora's Den. 
problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. Being an informant is a dangerous job. That's what I've been telling her. Well, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? No. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it for Jenna's safety. Maybe I could help her understand just how dangerous Cora's den is. I mean, she should know how dangerous it is already. I just literally just gunned the whole place you. down. Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, you should. Quit lazing around on the job. Hi, I'll be with you in just a sec. I'll wait right here. Why do I get the feeling you're not here to order drinks? I need to talk to you about your work with CSEC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. This isn't a game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my <laughs> sister. <laughs> my boy Shepard got crazy eyes. I can take care of myself. I need to These go. aren't fucking not games. <laughs> These aren't fucking games, around. Jenna. These people are dangerous. <laughs> Talking to me? Push off. I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers. Think they can run the place. Well, there's a whole undercover op going on. I guess we'd better go find out. The plot thickens. The plot thickens. Detective Chellick, come into my office. I want to discuss this in private. No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? I don't follow you. You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were trying to help her. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. But you're still using her. This job isn't easy and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you are so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. You mean to go in there and gun them all down, boss? Ahead, detective? As part of the job, now are you going to help me or not? I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man. Illegal arms dealers? Jax, okay. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Where can I find this, Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. Cool. Oh, look at this fella. This guy looks serious. Hold it. That's close enough, Army. You got my payment? I didn't come here to look. Show him the merchandise. That looks about right. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. He just needed me to buy it, right? He didn't need me to like arrest these guys. Here you go. Yeah, nice and easy. Here you go. Enjoy it. Come on, boys. We're done here. Simple enough. I didn't want to risk the op and get Jenna killed. I'm invested in Jenna's safety now. Commander, I hear you have something for me. Here's your shipment, Chellick. Excellent. This is everything I need. Huh. Maybe more than I need. Here, Commander, take this. I won't need it, and you've earned some payment for your work. As for Jenna, I'll make sure we get her out of Kor's den immediately. Now I need to get these mods into evidence. Thanks again, Shepard. Sweet. The fuck did I just witness? <laughs> Homie just takes a fucking a pistol whip to the back of the head and he gets back and he's like, huh. 
Well, whatever. Yeah, what is it? <laughs> yeah, what is it? What do you mean, what is it? What, it's just, <laughs> what, the, what the fuck do you mean? You know what I'm talking to you about, son. Why were you tossed out of there? Doran didn't have a clue what I was doing. He, he assumed I was cheating. <laughs> yeah, right in WTF. I was just tipping the scales in my favor, only as an experiment. It still sounds like cheating to me. To you, maybe. But this device is merely intended to simulate situations and record results. Recording losses is easy. Of course, nobody notices those. Why do you need to record these outcomes? Ah, now you're getting to the heart of it. I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the Quasar. Oh, I just shit. Need a few more recorded wins and I can complete the algorithms. Can you do that? Isn't that illegal? It's illegal to use my system, but I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. I just need a few more wins recorded. I'll help you out. Ah. I suppose I could let you try it. Here you go. When you've recorded enough wins, it'll let you know. Of course, if you get caught with the device, well, you saw what happened to me. Well, off you go. This is dangerous. I'll go turn in my quest before I go try to do some wins. Hey, Rita, girl, honey, hey, baby. Jenna came back looking for work. Thanks for getting her out of Cora's den. I was glad to help out. Yeah, everyone seems real happy to have her back. And yet, you seem less than pleased. I'm glad she's out of the den. I'd just forgotten what it was like to have her around. I haven't had oh, a decent they all tip like since her. she got back. Aww. Well, that's what you get. That's what you get for being a concerned sister. Maybe think about it next time. Did I not... Thanks again for all your help. Did I not get any experience? Are they all the same model, though? They're all three the same model. There's three. Who are you? What are you doing? Why is there three of you? Four? What the fuck is this place? What the fuck is this place? Clones. I don't like it here. Hey there, welcome to Flex. Don't act like you don't fucking know me. Yeah, I gotta win. Okay. I got enough wins. We didn't get caught. I don't know if the key was switching machines and being slow about it. I think it kind of counts on you getting greedy because like you're winning and making money the whole time. So did you record five wins with the device yet? Here you go. I hope it's what you're looking for. Excellent indeed. This will provide me with invaluable data. You enjoy those winnings. I'm going to get the system completed. Well, that doesn't appear to have, it didn't appear to have any like negative effects on my, uh, yeah, I just made more money. That's pretty sweet, right? Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Why is the CSEC officer harassing you? The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. Let me talk to the CSEC officer. Perhaps I can explain the situation. This one would be most grateful for the... Any progress with that Hanar? Sorry, I'll let you know if I come up with something. I don't care what the something is, as long as it rids me of the Hanar. Has the CSEC officer been assuaged? Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language. His voice and trips me out, man. The mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Oh, I can do it now? I can do it now? Is this how the Enkindlers would want you to use this gift of consciousness? The Enkindlers would wish for their message to be spread to all sentient races. 
If the Protheans wanted you to force your message on the unwilling, they'd have said so. This one hears wisdom. Perhaps enthusiasm has clouded judgment in this matter. Oh. I this wonder why I le wouldn't now, let me do it earlier. And will not intrude upon the Presidium again. I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. I just got an achievement for unlocking a quarry and ally. Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who's she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a Damn. formidable okay. ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. Um. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Do I sound like a crazy person and say that I've seen them? 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. I can take Saren down. The Commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. I'm ready. I'm the protagonist. I faced Saren on Eden Prime and exposed him for a traitor. I've proven myself. Commander Shepard, step forward. It's like, fuck yeah, bro. Fucking get your shit. This is epic. I got chills again. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, 
instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Guys, that was bad ass. Congratulations, Commander. <clears throat> We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Fuck yeah, Anderson, free shit. Come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. Achievement earned. You unlocked Spectre inductee. Sweet. <laughs> Bastard didn't even thank you. What do you expect from a politician? Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. That's right. Hope he's okay. What's wrong, buddy? I'm on a break. Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. Maybe I can help. Hmm. Well, maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? Sometimes. My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared. Just Our first side right quest the outside of the uh, of two things. Citadel? They had massive mechanical failure, or they were attacked. Neither one of those options leaves a lot of hope. I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. If your brother's still alive, I'll find him. Give me the coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find him. Sweet. James Bond? What's this? One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepard. My name is Saran. The tale of how you survived the great tragedy on Akuz is truly remarkable. I am amazed each time I hear it. You've got me at a disadvantage here. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I like I these little guys for some reason. Many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. Most people think I deal in finances, but my real currency is knowledge. I trade information, and it has made me very wealthy. But the Shadow Broker is the true master. Every day he buys and sells secrets that could topple governments, always giving them to the highest bidder. Something tells me I'm going to end up meeting that guy. Yet somehow he never seems to upset the natural balance of power. All those secrets being passed around seem to even out. Nobody ends up with an advantage in the end. I should go. Missions officer. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Sec, looking you up. Yeah, just uh, look under uh, I'm first name I'm last name him. Commander you should Shepherd, find me immediately. Max, first time on the what's Citadel, up? Right. How you doing, my boy? First time on the Citadel, that about right? Sure How did is. you know all that? I'm the CSEC requisitions officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing? What's up? Show me what you've got. Sounds oh, I have to good. buy the shit? Just let me set you up. Oh, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre. Spectre. <laughs> well, I'm sorry about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Just show me what you've got. Honestly, Max, it feels story, like a modern KOTOR. KOTOR, you're going to love this. Coming up in a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel. Hey, that's me. Uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. Sweet. She got her story.